Do you have any paper pads from Hobby Lobby you'd like to use? I have a template for their unique six and a half by four and a half size paper pads. But if you don't have those, I still think you'll get some great ideas from this video. Hi, I'm Jess from JessCrafts.com and I'm gonna help you make the most of your crafty supplies and time. So let's get started. A couple of months ago, someone left a comment asking if I had any templates or would make or consider making any templates for the Hobby Lobby six and a half by four and a half size paper pads. I don't shop at Hobby Lobby very much. And I said that in the comment, I said, you know, I don't, I don't go there, but I will keep it in mind and I will try to make some in the future. And while it may not be helpful now that it's been so long since they first asked, maybe they will find this video and maybe I can try to go find their comment and let them know. But I did, I did keep it in the back of my mind and I did find this paper pad at a reuse store, a creative reuse store. So basically a thrift store just for arts and crafts supplies because I don't go to Hobby Lobby very often and I haven't been in one in all of that time. So this is a baby sort of themed paper pad and it would not be my first choice, but I thought, well, this is, you know, what is presented to me and this is what I saw. So I'll go ahead and get it and, and make some templates so that hopefully some of you can benefit and then if you have anything like this in your stash. So this first template, it makes one card. All of the templates that I will create for the sides will make one card in part because when I bought the paper pad, I noticed that there's 120 sheets in the paper pad. So even if you only made one card from each sheet, it would, you would still wind up with 120 cards, which is quite a lot. And so I didn't, I certainly didn't want to make more than one card from each sheet. I really wanted to help people if they had these paper pads to go through them more quickly and still have a good result. So this one, you cut the paper in half. So it's about four and a half by, or it's four and a half by three and a quarter. You use one of those as the main focal point of the card. And then you take the other one and you cut it on the diagonal. And then you put it in the top and bottom corner. And then in the center goes the larger piece that is your focal point. This paper pad, as I mentioned, is like sort of baby themed. And I didn't, I don't have a reason to make a bunch of baby cards. There are plenty of papers in the collection that are great for just kid cards in general and aren't like, they don't explicitly say baby all over them by any means. So I made an effort to try to make sure that my card didn't look too much like a baby card. However, I did wind up picking this blue as my cardstock mat for the large focal point in the center and then for the sentiment as well and in the end I do think that it probably pulled it a little bit more like the pastels kind of pulled it back a bit more into the baby territory but it's hard because that the pastels are the color inspiration so it's something that I'll keep in mind as I continue to work with this paper pad. I'm going to be using the Hi Hey Hello die from photo play paper say it with stamps collection i've used this several times i really like it and maybe some of you have seen it a few times at this point and are a little tired of seeing it but i'm kind of hoping that it's nice to see that the same product that you purchase once can be used many many times and you know there's there's always a new die a new stamp out there and that's great and we should totally support the small companies but also it's nice to get a lot of use out of something. And that is why I purchased this die set because it's one of those ones I knew I would come back to time and time again. I am using a tool from Twiddler's Nook that you can use to press down on your Misty or other stamp positioning tool and get a good clear impression. But I also like to use it when I'm pressing down die cuts because sometimes I'll find that if I'm not careful, I've only pressed down part of them and some of them will flap up later. It's a silly thing, but I already have the tool for using with my with my Misty. So I, I like to, you know, have other uses for it as well. I'm gonna use a Lawn Fawn stamp set. This is another one. It's old, it's been in my collection for a long time. And I know it can be fun to see new things in videos, but I hope it can be fun to see older stamp sets in videos. And I had the dies for this and it was like perfect. I, you know, the uh, paper collection has the wild safari animals in it. So why not use this stamp set that I've I've loved for so long on it. I'm gonna do some simple warm gray coloring because that matches a little bit more with the coloring that is in the paper pad. I'm gonna put shadows on both the front and the back of the zebra just so that he appears pretty rounded. And then I, because this is from so long ago, I have the coordinating dies because this is before I had a scan and cut machine. So it makes it super easy to finish those off. So I have, 
on my templates at the bottom, I say, please share with me when you share that when you share a card or using the template on Instagram, please share with me. And that's because I just love, I really do love to see your creations. But I saw and somebody said, you know, these cards aren't very good, but I wanted to share. And part of me was like, but your cards are fantastic. But I hear so many crafters say that like, oh, mine aren't very good. They're not like YouTuber or whatever. And really, I mean, we're, we're all the same. And I just, it, it breaks my heart a little bit to hear people say that because you don't have to have super fancy supplies or anything like that to bring a smile to someone's face with your cards. It's really all about the love we put into it. And that is why I share these templates because I want card making to make you feel joyous and good about yourself and to spread joy and happiness to others. So I am by no means um, trying to say anything negative at all about that person. I just I, I just wish that um, sometimes we would cut ourselves a little more slack and be kinder to ourselves because I have only seen beautiful cards shared with me on Instagram because all of them are somebody's putting their heart into it and they're there to make you smile. So yeah, I just that little thought I wanted to share because it's something I'm thinking on and I just wanted to um, encourage people to be more positive for themselves. I uh, added a little bit of dimension behind the zebra to pop them up and then those cards are finished. If you found this video inspiring, here's another video where you can find more ideas for enjoying your crafty time and supplies. Let me know you like this video with a share to your crafty community. Subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss the next template or tutorial and check the video description for product links. See you in the next video.